lesser known characters. Lesser known characters. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Lesser Known Characters, uh, the show where we learn about uh, our, about people uh, through their musical through their interest. musical interests. Today, very special guest, tattooer, author, artist, a skateboarder, all around good guy. Ben has, McQueen has a has oh has a new show on Vice called Let It Kill You. Check it out. It's about skateboarding and art and tattooing and how they all meet in the middle. Give me We're those pretty clicks. pretty fucking much. Yeah, I, I listen. I love that I found the world of skateboarding because it let me be. It let me. It, I don't know. It just opened my eyes to so much yeah. of the fucking world. Be- e- even when I get these questions from you guys about music, the first place I go in my mind is skate videos from yeah. when I was younger. Dude, That's where everything I mean, started. You know. I mean, it's just like I, I discovered Sonic Youth because of uh, Toy Machine jump jump off a building mm-hmm. when Ed Templeton skated to them. And I thought I was like, "Who the fuck is this?" And I thought it was so fucking dope. There's so many people that I fucking, you know, just have like, just I don't know. And, and it's all dope shit too. But like the world of skateboarding is like probably one of the more diverse. Yeah. Like uh, what what would you call the like the diverse um, like a subculture or subculture yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever. I know? mean, it's cool. You think you got like a direct line to the people that you think are the coolest, what they're listening to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? So you're like, oh, Ed Templeton's listening to Sonic Youth. I like that dude. I'm yeah. gonna get the Sonic Youth album. You know. Dude, I remember the first time I heard a uh, fucking uh, "Live and Let Die." Uh-huh. I didn't realize that was Paul McCartney okay. at first, uh, but it was uh, from Maple's Black Cat. Remember Maple? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Maple Black Cat video. Yeah. That's where I first discovered Search that. and Destroy and that ragdoll part. Did you see that? Was it that uh, Label uh, Kills or something? Or one was of those, it was a Black Label video, right? The uh, ragdoll part? I don't remember, actually. I Maybe remember the part. Or, I don't remember the video. Yeah. It's got to be one of those. Yeah. To that. yeah, all that shit, dude. Right? It was great. And then the right. DIY nature of it, people like d- designing their grip tape or like stickering my board was such an obsessive. Yep. You see these people doing it like kooks, and you're like, yeah. "I want my shit to be fucking laid out." It's the it's the one culture that lets you literally be you. Yeah, you know, one of one, one of the few. There's a, there's quite a few that let, like, but like it's like one of the few cultures where like you could truly like be you. It's not like it's like because there's there's so many different different types of skaters. Yeah, yeah. so it's, many different. It's types. not a coincidence that most skateboarders end up getting into punk rock and mm-hmm. hardcore. Yeah, or tattooing or whatever they Naturally, all find yeah. it's it, you know it's all the same I think in so many ways yeah. for sure. I mean from what I was listening to before Sonic Youth I would have never thought I would get into Sonic Youth. Yeah. You know the way I did, you yeah. know but but thanks to skateboarding. You yeah, know, that shit informed videos. everything like music and then through music politics cuz you know you find Dead Kennedys or whatever. Oh yeah, is, yeah, and then, yeah, and then it just keeps going. Yeah, it'll always uh be a part of me, man, and I'll never look at stairs the same or Oh, know. every every time every time I'm walking around somewhere I'm like, "Oh, man, you can skate that." Yeah. So you guys are in LA. You guys grew up out here, right? Both. Yeah. I grew up in Arizona. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So either way, you're on the West Coast. Yeah. I was in Indiana. So Damn. I was like in the yeah. middle of nowhere, so I was like damn, everybody in California has got all the spots. Yeah. So when I would come out here, you know, I felt like if I would have grown up in California, let's say, yeah. could have changed everything. You know, you would have just had more access to yeah. maybe shows or music or skating or skate yeah. spots or whatever. But, yeah. but I remember being a kid, seeing a spot in a video and you're like, I'm going to go skate this. And you show up and <laughs> yeah. it's so insane. And <laughs> you're like, wait, in what? person, yeah. you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. Or you show up in someone that you're like, oh, Andrew yeah. Reynolds is already here. Yeah. You know, I'm not fair, skating. Uh, yeah. Uh, fucking uh, Hollywood High. That's, yeah. How, yeah, that's how I felt when I was driving by Hollywood High and I just see the whole Baker crew. Yeah. You see skating, And I was like, oh my God. And I fucking, I literally parked. Yeah. Cause I was like, this is like legendary, to yeah. me, you know. Yeah. And I it, would never skate that fucking 16 stair. It's funny, my chick is so confused when I'm like, "Yo, I gotta stop and get out of the car and look at this thing," and yeah. she's like, "What are you looking?" She knows now, but like, yeah. you know, when we moved to San Francisco, it's I'm like, like the, it's like a stone hit, like yeah. the stone hit for yeah, us, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. for skateboarders. You you see a spot That's and true. that impact, dude. I, I remember going to King High School. They have that rail out front that like Guy Mariano skated back in the yeah. day, and like the arcade team. Do you remember arcade? Yep. yep. They were all there, wow. and like, sitting on the stairs, like watching them go for it. And you know, I think because they have, they literally have to be in the streets, skating street stuff. There is this like you take out the middleman of like there is no real rock star bullshit. It's like you know they're still out there doing it, so it's easier to to connect with professional skateboarders. I feel mm-hmm. like 
Um, unless it's like Muska or somebody. Also, I met, like, like I like met a, him as a kid. It was like a full production for yeah. a commercial, and I was like, "Damn." <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I don't know, like, like, I, so you grew up in Indiana. I grew up in Arizona. We didn't have a lot of parks either. So, like, seeing these skate videos and seeing all these fucking, uh, you know, all these skate spots, you're like, "Damn!" This, like, and then like, well, I moved here six years ago, and I remember when I first drove by Hollywood High, I go, "There it fucking is." Yeah. I go, "No fucking way." And I like I realized I was like I'm only ten minutes from and like, Grant I would never do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's weird. It's just stairs and a rail, but you're like, bro, would you ready go up to, to it? You're like, or rear in somebody looking yeah. to try to find it. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's real. All right, so yeah. let's get into it. So basically, the way the show runs is we'll add, we don't know your answers. Okay, we don't know your answers at all. Uh, so we ask the question, uh, you answer, and then we geek out from there. Let's go. Right, and we just kind of let the the conversation flow, to, and let like let it lead to like the next questions and stuff like that. Sure. So that's pretty much. I'm how ready. We do it. I know. Yeah. I'm pretty stoked. Yeah, me too. Okay. So first question, first album you ever bought. Yo, I gotta say, I was hung up on this because it's, it's tricky when you're a kid. Tricky. You know, you're getting all these CDs. You know, maybe gifted to you or something. Yeah. Or you're, yeah. I was trying to think of the first time I remember Wait, going how, out. How old are you? I'm 36 this year. Okay, I'm 35, okay, okay. about to be 36. Yeah. Okay. The first record that I remember going to buy was Enema of the State, Blink-182. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Because I remember my mom saw the cover and yeah. she was like, what? You know, so but, what year did you graduate high school? 2007. 2007. Okay, oh, it so must be two, nice. <laughs> you didn't graduate. So we're two years, uh, yeah, that's two, yeah, two years apart or whatever. Yep. So like, it was so funny. I. I I've said this before. I recently went and saw Blink-182 for the first time. Yeah, yeah. Like last year. On this recent tour. On well, this recent yeah. tour. And I and as I'm sitting there watching them, I'll go, these guys have been in my life forever. It's a trip, man. It is a fucking trip when you really think about it. And as I'm watching them play all these songs, and I'm like, no fucking way. Yeah. Did you watch Big that documentary they put out about them like getting back together recently? No, no, I don't. I, don't I can't remember so. who did okay. it, but it's you know. I mean, it was a big deal. Them like getting yeah. back together, or whatever. But um, did you see them on this run? I didn't. I skipped oh. it. My chick went and saw them, and I regret not going. But no, I'm um, talking about when you bought the album. Oh no, I didn't. No, I, I have seen them, but I didn't uh, see them at that time in my life. Oh god, but, I was gonna say. Or that. on this newest tour, I didn't yeah, see yeah. them either. But um, but man, I mean that record. Like we, I immediately like started a band with my friends. Yeah, and it was yeah. just a. Blink-182 cover band, yep, you know? I've been there. And I would just <laughs> yeah. sit in my basement with Same. my bass guitar and just try to learn, like, Man Overboard or whatever these, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. bass riffs, yeah. you know? Uh-huh. Do, 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 do. Tab Crawler. I was yeah. printing off Tab of Crawler. Yeah. You know? um, but, yeah, man, I mean, we, you know, that's all we wanted to do was just play Blink-182 songs. It just felt like accessible music. And mm-hmm. it was the first thing. In hindsight, you know, I hadn't discovered Descendants or Misfits or yeah. Ramon, even really Ramones, like, that kind of stuff, you know, that I felt like might be a little more legit to some sure. people. But this was... I think the beginning of everything for me, really. Yeah. You know, then it was Alkaline Trio and Jimmy yep. Eat World and mm-hmm. these bands. And I, I would remember reading a, an interview with Tom DeLonge, and he was like, "I got married, and I had my favorite band play my wedding reception, and Fuck. it was Jimmy Eat World." And I was like, Fuck. "I never even heard of Jimmy Eat World, dude." Bro, so I just went and bought from, the CD from uh, Mesa, where I grew up. Yep, that's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, and I went and bought. I just saw them uh, on a tour just a few months ago. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I went straight to the to the store and bought Bleed American. That was my second. Hell yeah. Wow, so that's a good one. That man. Because I read that interview with Tom. But, Damn, how um, old were you when you bought this record? I mean, what year did it come out? Probably like. Good. I think I was this was in the sixth grade or something. I, uh, yeah. No, I think I was in when this album came out. I, I think it, was, it had to be ninety nine. Yeah, that June first, nineteen ninety nine. Ooh. Yeah. Damn. So I mean, Damn, you know, I was yesterday. eleven or I was eleven oh, a couple days ago. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I mean, yeah, you're eleven. I, yeah, I went and bought it. I may, maybe I was twelve. Maybe it'd been out for a minute, but yeah, yeah. But that like juvenile still, humor, all yeah. that stuff was like perfect yeah. timing. It was such man. a the good music record. videos. Yep, it was great, man. I mean, that was the whole thing. You know, you couldn't all that TRL stuff, everything. You're just sitting there watching music videos while you're getting ready for school yeah. or whatever. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But, and it was it was such a new sound. Yeah, yeah. You know, like for I the feel mainstream, like it, I think. For I mean, the, the Vandals and like people like yeah. that have done it, but never on that. But like on that, on, yeah, yeah. They they were the first to like really get that mainstream. I mean, fucking. I mean, every time uh, what's my age again came on, it was just like yeah. This is cool. This is a cool ass song. I and will it, say, I think Dude Ranch is my favorite Blink record. Really? Yeah. If I, but that's not a Travis. 
Barker record. No, right? no, and I haven't Trav- gone back to listen to that whole thing in like years. Listen man. to would, it. Be, yeah, pretty damn good. Okay, cool. It holds pretty up. Damn, it holds I, up. I bet, yeah. dude. Yeah. I mean, you know, you, you, you know like it, 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 I, I feel like they were always destined to be the band that they were, were especially when you hear the Dude Ranch record. Mm-hmm. And I think you know, obviously, when they linked with Travis, like you know, just him backing, backing those uh, riffs and bass lines, like just helped them go to like another level. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And which was really cool. But like, yeah, that do ranch, like you can really hear that they were like getting there. And I think they really found it. Yeah. You know, you know like when a band puts something out and you're like, Th- this band is going to blow up. Yeah. That had to be the dude ranch album. For People sure. were like, Oh, oh. Man, this is going to be big. Yeah. You know? Cause dude, damn it. And those damn, songs. Yeah, had, dude, like, when damn yeah, it came Josie. out. Yeah. Yeah. That might be the, that might be the blink One Eighty Two song, right? For sure. Damn it. Yeah. I, I think so. I mean, yeah. you know, all the small things or whatever, I yeah, guess, I'll, but, but um, yeah, but man, that record I played so much, and you Damn. know, it's like you sit there with the little fold-out thing from the CD, and you just read the lyrics, and I could not listen to that record for ten years, and I'd put it on, and I'd know every goddamn word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. And you, I, just, I, I do that. That's one thing I love, and you know, and I, and I hate even saying like, oh, this, you know, like uh, they don't do that anymore. But it, but it was, it was such a beautiful time to when you got a CD. And you read that booklet. Well, you're probably spending and your only 15 bucks. You're yeah. going to yeah. learn to love that you're record. You're going to learn know? to love that fucking record. That's true. Oh. It's crazy to think that uh, Travis is like a Kardashian now. This is like it's a weird, wild, full... I, yo, you know that band Speed from Australia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw a clip on TikTok, I think, and it was like them playing a set, and it panned over, and there was Travis Barker with... I don't remember which Kardashian. Courtney, he's, yeah. Courtney, yeah. yeah. And they're just standing there, and he's holding her, and they're just kind of bobbing their heads. And I yeah. was like, what is going on? Yeah, he, on, he loves dude? speed. So my buddy Toby Morris, he's tied with Travis. Yeah. And so he introduced him to speed because they played uh, this hardcore festival, Sound and Fury. Yeah, yeah. And fucking... So he brought... Travis yeah. there and I was there that the year I was it two years ago when they that was like the first speed show and oh States. I was at, I was at that one yeah yeah the, the first speed show yeah, from was Australia crazy. it was their first uh, American show yep that's what it was yeah yeah, yeah. and they were ripping it was like oh middle of the God. day it like high middle, noon dude it was middle of the day high noon <laughs> but everybody was packed like there for them. hot as fuck hot as yeah. fuck and it was just like. They blew you the fuck away. Yeah, it, it was. was they, were, they were stoked to be there for sure. I know, and dude, that was the cool thing. They, like the singer was getting all emo. He goes, "Oh, this means like so much." You know, we've never played in America, and you guys are. It, it was really, it was really cute. Yeah. And then they just go into the hardest song. Yeah. <laughs> it was cute. One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's just like a <laughs> dun, 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 you know. Hell yeah! All right, so next question, and that's uh, this segue is pretty good. The all anthem right. of your youth. The anthem of my youth. So. For whatever reason, so I, I used to work at this skate park. Uh, there was a skate shop in the front, hey, skate hey. park in the back, and we every morning I would turn the CD on and go and sweep the park, get ready for the day. And we only had one album in the CD player, and it was this Modest Mouse record. Are you record, fucking kidding me? The ah. Moon and Antarctica. Yeah, dude. You know? Are you kidding me? Yes. I love it. Yo, I was. This was a hard one, but it oh was also God. a no-brainer. This record is really great, man. Front to Dog. back. Dog. Yo. <laughs> I mean, I'm hitting you. I'm hitting you. Here I was thinking, oh man, they're gonna. Yeah, be. this is great to to sweep to. I bet. Oh yeah. The fucking people over. Yeah, it's uh, good, man. It's been they've been a band that stuck with me, you know, my entire life, dude. You know, my entire yeah, life for sure. Since I've gotten shit on school. for it before, but I'm also I meet people like you that are yeah, like down, dude, you know. You know what, man? It Modest Mouse is one of those bands where you either like them or you don't like them or yep. whatever. I don't think there's really anyone in between because if you like them. You want to hear everything because it's so unique. Yeah. It's really fucking unique. And every, like, it's weird because, like, you can't even, like, really narrow them down to a sound because they experiment with so much. And It was hard to peg, you know, you know and explain them to people when they were like, what's up with this band? It's got yeah. a weird name, you know, and you were yeah. like, I don't know. Like, it's kind of yeah, like. It's, it's hard to, it's kind of hard to explain. I'd say my favorite off this record is. Oh, so I remember uh, go to different city. Oh, a yeah. different city. Who skated to this? And it was in a foundation video. It was in um, foundation foundation art bars and. Uh, uh, this is my favorite thing to remember. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop the ball right now. Yeah, uh, I can look it up. Yeah, look it up. Yeah, I can't remember who. There's skated been a to couple it. Modest Mouse tracks yeah? that people have skated uh-huh. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, this one's a good. This, this is a good record. Also, the lyrics. Record. I was like. 
this is crazy. This is right? like some yeah. deeper shit that I hadn't heard, you know. I want to live yep. in the city with no friends and family. I want to look at the window. Oh, uh, was it uh, Judd Hertzler and Omar yeah, yeah, Salazar? Yeah. That skated to that? Yeah. I want to look out the window of my color TV So I think it was Lonesome Crowded West. Oh, and that's then a the, great one, too. Which is also great. Then this. And then good news for people who love bad news? Or yeah, was there yeah. something in between that? No, so name. they... Uh, yeah, that I forget their roster how it goes because every you know all their records kind of like yeah yeah blend to me but yeah. like in such a deep way uh, I don't I don't listen to them that ooh, often Wild, pa- like, Wild Pack of Family Dogs that's another good yep. one this was this was a fun one also okay. the diversity of songs and sounds yeah. within an album is is yeah. cool well yeah. that's fun when you only have one album to listen to yeah yeah it was giving you a little bit of everything this was cool okay. Wild pack of family dogs came running through the yard one day. That's you, wild pack of family dogs. And up they ran away, okay. And then I think when good news for people who love bad news came out, that was the float on was like float the single, on. and that was the beginning of the end. They were like off to the races at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, that was their first record that got like mainstream. Yeah, you success. couldn't go anywhere and not hear that song. I know. And I still hear it all the time. Yeah, you know, and it's not my favorite Modest Mouse song, but no, I get it's not. it. Dude, I forgot. Came as a rat is on here. Yep. Lives, it's a great record, man. There's a part in Lives. Go to Lives, right, and go to the the middle. Right here, this part. You got it right on the ball. It's hard to remember. It's hard to remember for the first time. It's just beautiful. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, I need fuck? to get into it, dude. I, it's, been, it's good, man. It's good. I know, like the big songs, or we play like, what is it, the salt? The ocean, ocean breeze, salt. Ocean breeze, salt. Oh, that's a great, that's a great, great one. Song. Huh? Yo, that's one of my all times, dude. Sure. This is yeah. a great song. Yeah. Stole me. I could, I could go. I could do a whole episode on Modest Mouse. That's to be quite saying. honest, because that's what the Patreon will be for the real oh, yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. do that. We'll give do us that. your money. Give us yeah. your. Give us your fucking money I'm just kidding but uh I just listened to a podcast with Isaac Brock on it and man my guy is like still going a million miles an hour man. like it oh, seems when, when you listen to him talk you're like I get why this dude is writing the songs mm-hmm. he's writing he's just uh-huh. up, 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 like a million miles an hour but he's yeah. got some funny interviews yeah yeah he's a true <laughs> man he's not what you think I don't no, know you know there's one interview where he's r- real drunk and uh <laughs> and then she was like uh I think the interview was like tell us about yourselves he goes I don't know. Live your own goddamn life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to speak about yeah. myself. And he goes, uh, he, then, he, then he caught himself because he's like, oh, you're going to use that. And everyone's going to be like, he's a dick. He goes, uh, I don't know. Just, you know, he tried yeah. to like, you know, catch himself. Yeah. But it was funny when he was like, I don't know. Live your own goddamn life. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, okay. Damn. That's oof. that's a good one. I'm glad that's, you dug it. Oh, I was uh, some of these. You know, I don't know, man. It's like you're more vulnerable than you think you're going to be when yeah, you're like talking sure. about music, yeah. you know, because on one hand, you're like, man, I could pick the cool thing that I know yeah. is fun to talk about and people are going to be down with, or I could be genuine. And yeah, say, that's yeah, what yeah, we yeah. want. This is yeah. real, you know? You know what, man? Like, uh, uh, we hear a lot of times, like, people get scared to, like, not scared, but, like, they get a little intimidated to do. Yeah. They, think we're, gonna judge, they think we're going to judge. They think we're going to judge, but we're, we're like, yeah. we're music nerds. Sure. You know, I already I already told them I vibe hard with your karaoke song. That's all I told them. Yo. Okay, cool. I can't wait till we get that. <laughs> I can't right, wait till we get yeah. that. That's what's up. Your favorite song to play in the car? Yo, I will say, on the way here, I put this baby on just so I wasn't posing. Yeah. Okay. I was being real. Hell yeah. But uh, New Order, Age of Consent. Damn. This is a fun one, man. I could loop this thing. I could keep it on repeat. Yeah, this is an escape video, no? It is. Okay. Yeah, uh... This is a uh, Louis Barletta part. Louis Barletta, ah, yes. Yep. I was think Louis Bag Bar- of Suck, I think. Yeah, the Enjoy yeah, enjoy yeah. video. Louis. God, he's got the coolest front side flip in uh, that. I love it, yeah. On this, like, tall I know ass the one. wall. It's perfect. Yep, yeah. Wait, let Louis me see. the man. Wait, I want to see. It, but, uh, Pull up, yeah, Louis, Louis Barletta. Louis, I feel like Louis Barletta skates to the coolest songs. Yo, he's, he was always so fun, man. He's the best, and he is, my guy's got a deep lexicon for music. Really? He's like a really? big, yeah, cool. he's a big music. Oh, he's from he, Argentina? I don't know. Originally, I, I mean, he's the San be, Jose yeah, guy okay. as far as We're, I've ever I'm going to show, yeah, I'm gonna show you I'm another sure. Louis Barletta part that got me into a band that I fucking love dearly. Am I in the right? Yeah, you yeah. should be. Someone's going to give an intro to this, I'm sure, so you might have to skip. Yeah, you skip. Uh, where? Hell yeah. Oh, wait. This wait. isn't a bag of suck part. We're going to have to Google it. 
who skates to I think I thought it was a Louis part. Uh, we'll look it up. Type in Louis. Bar- so leave it at Louis Barletta Black Cat. Joy Division. What's New Order. New, New Order. Order Age of bad. Consent. Right there. So. So Louis oh, uh, yeah. skates Man, to this band. This. Um, they're called uh, Heavenly. Okay, I don't yes. know this. I know. Yeah. This is. This is when I was like, damn. <laughs> this looks like some hookups graphics. Right. Or something, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shouts out hookups. But huh. it's this song, and it, it's like this like twee pop style yeah. of music. Which is like super early 90s, late 80s. But I would watch this part this all the time. I love these old 90s like fisheye lenses, oh, you know, yeah, where you yeah, see yeah. the ring where and Where you see the ring. Yeah. <laughs> That's really aging the video for sure. Yeah. It feels like it's coming back though, this like VHS style. You it's know, either, the 90s are back, dude. It's going one of two ways. The 90s style is coming back for sure. Yeah. Because oh, of our yeah. skate park now. The pants are so big and the wheels are so well, small. Well, you know, and I... And I, I I may feel weird saying this, but there was something that about the ni- '90s that just I think hit so different from the world. Yeah. And I feel like the younger generation is kind of like looking at it like this is so dope. It's also weird to think that the '90s has been what 30 years ago or whatever yeah. for us now. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But what you I got? I think it was uh, Jerry Sue and oh, Louis yeah, Barletta Jerry. and oh, sub- Subject to Change. Yes, that's what it was. That was a I think a Trans World video, Subject to Change. If I'm yeah. Right. But either way, I knew it was a. a a Louis part, but yeah, Louis and Jerry doesn't get any better than that. Oh, come on! Yeah, yeah. come on, dude. Dude, Jerry I mean, Sue, Jerry Sue. Remember Jerry Sue did that video? It was he, he did like a whole oh, the thing. whole switch, switch, and yes. yeah, it was crazy. That's, that's dude. that Stagold part, yeah. Louis haircut, dude. I know. <laughs> yeah, these guys are the best, man. Ah, uh, yeah, two two Damn, fucking I goats. This part in a while. There it is. There it I, is. I don't there think I've ever is. seen this. Oh, that's a good one. Because skate videos were expensive. Remember, you know, they were like $30 or something. None back of these day. songs were probably cleared either back in that yeah, at that time, yeah. you know, I have to assume. Because there would be times where you'd hear a video and there'd be a song on the DVD and the VHS would be different because okay, yeah. they'd, they'd be like getting clocked for it. You know? I remember so reading a, cool. yeah, I read <laughs> Bad Religion's book and they were, they were saying that they were like, if people would hit them up, they'd just give it to them because they knew it would do something for them in the future. You there know? are bands that have been put on by skate videos. Oh, yeah. You know, like, uh, I mean, I can't think of that's an example felt, off the top that's of my head. That's how I felt, uh, Built to Spill. Yep. Yeah, Another yeah. one, Cairo yeah. Foster. Yep. He skated to them in The the Reason. Yep. Uh, Fat, Fat Lip. Fat Lip's uh, Today's Your Day. Oh, really? Babe. That was in uh, Yeah, Right. I thought you were talking about oh. the Sum 41 song. <laughs> no. Oh, no, Fat that's Lip. also a classic. Yeah. God, that's Jesus. on my list. Don't worry. Also, you know what? It, you know, you know what I think it is too about the '90s. I I feel like the '90s weren't too overdone. No, nah, like it no, was, nothing seemed overly produced as, as well, far as like cell phones as far as like and, uh, the first society. Era, it was the first era that you could start self filming like this. Yep. In the '80s, you had to have a lot of money to even have a camcorder. Like yeah. that was a rich family. Now, yeah. it's, uh, the I camcorders mean, are secondhand. Uh, also, I think <laughs> with the and I bring this up a lot, but I think. You know, a lot of like the the Seattle, you know, bands like had a lot to do with like the way people view things because you all of a sudden you you see these big big guys that are rock stars, but they all dress like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? But you know, they w- weren't like overdoing. It. It's like now we just wear fucking flannels and yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah, it's weird now when you see like certain rappers or whatever that are wearing like a shirt. You're like. I don't know if those dudes know or yeah, if they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they, they might, never, you know, they might, know, they might, but, some might. But, wasn't it, was it like Travis Scott never, or somebody was like the first, like, like he wore some like Pantera shirt or something. Uh, no, or, he, I don't he, know. He's, what, he's, in, he's in a sick of it all shirt. Or that's what it was. Yeah. It was like, yeah, some, he's in a sick yeah. of it all shirt. Yeah. But you know, is that authentic or is yeah, that like somebody know. was like, it's, yo, f- you know, Jerry's company, sci-fi fantasy. I know Kim Kardashian got photographed in like a sci-fi fantasy hat, you know, and you have to figure She's not going to the skate shop and buying that, but she's got somebody who might know. Like, yo, you should like, wear this. This is yeah, cool. This is yeah. Gonna, yeah, you're gonna be rock this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. So you never know. But I know. Also, like, I mean, but like, I, you know, when that kind of stuff does happen, I'm like, cool. It put eyes on something yeah, that yeah. people go. It's like the booklets back in the day when you when they would give you the the, the thank yous. Yeah. It's like you like Blink 182, and then all of a sudden they're saying the thank yous to like all these bands that you never heard of. You're like, yeah. ooh, I gotta go check this band out. It's like. You know, people might go check out Sick of It All. Yeah. You know, that probably never. Yeah, it's a good way to put somebody on for sure. Yeah. 
damn great yeah. fucking Gosh, Gosh, I'm, loving this, part, I'm loving this shit that's how you want to skate that just looks yeah fun, yeah, yeah, right? yeah that's yeah. like them yeah. just hyping each other up and just cruising and getting clips and yeah it's the best man it's the simplicity of things yeah true that's what i think too yeah i think people are looking for the simplicity of like it's very digestible you know like that song like, coupled with that part yeah it's perfectly yeah. it fits perfect they're just mm-hmm. it's easy to watch they're not like skating the mega ramp you know yeah, yeah exactly. i was just gonna like, say i miss i miss videos where i could like see a trick i could do yeah because yeah. now like i'll watch a whole part there's not one thing i could do in that oh yeah there's like, holy oh, shit. skating's gotten pretty out of control man i'm more stoked on watching like a kid ollie or drop in for the first time that that inspires me more than uh, like, yeah, yeah, watching like the, the new niger part it's like just it's great but i it's think too there's much. a reason reason why we sort of like go back and revisit the stuff that we yeah. took in at that time in our life you know like music or skating or whatever because yeah, it's accessibility just like, man. yeah you know you're not feeling like i don't know you could feel involved you were like maybe skating at a too out of reach slight uh, out of reach. level that yeah. was comparable mm-hmm. to that thing when it was happening or yeah. something yeah know? but uh, yeah also with skateboarding it's like like i obviously think when you start and you're like coming up and like learning how to skate you're like uh it's it's like yeah fucking ed templeton does this too like he went through this he went through trying to like land his first kick flip too you know so you think of it like there's just like such a strong connection yeah do you, you know, know kevin I mean? christie that name sounds familiar. he's a comic he's a but he's done art for like toy machine, toy machine and stuff yeah. like that yeah okay that makes sense yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool yeah anyway that's whatever. what's up that maybe <sighs> all right best Live music you've oh, seen. Oh boy! All right. Well, this was a two-parter, I think, because okay. I got cool. a, I got a story for the Great. for the second one. But man, I gotta say, hot topic maybe, but I gotta go with Kanye. Oh yeah. wow! Cool. I mean, I saw that. He, you know what? Live music. He. I think he's been brought up like quite yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah. I figured. I was like, man, have people already talked about Kanye? To no, death it's great. But it's great. There's but a every, reason every, why. But everyone has their own like what it's done to them. Where well, did the, you see him? The first time I saw Kanye was in Indianapolis, and he was doing the Life of Pablo tour. Mm. So that was okay. what 2016, 2016 or 17 or something. Or something. Like that, yeah. But it was like the whole thing was crazy. It was the first stop of the tour, I think, before maybe he went back to Chicago or something. Mm. So it was almost like seeing this like insane rapper do this like weird it was like being at band practice he would be oh, wow. he would start a song and he'd be like no 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 hold up hold up start it over start it over wow. no no i don't want to do that one i want to do this one all the while he's on this floating stage that's above this like uh, you know arena packed yeah. with people that are just moshing and running and you know vaping and the whole yeah. thing man i gotta say it was like as far as shows go it was pretty pretty yeah. insane oh this man. is the stage yeah. right here so he was just up That's on that fucking thing nuts dude he was like attached by a carabiner and like maybe a chain you call or me? something <laughs> 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 that's why it's a comedy podcast yeah. <laughs> you gotta get it in when i give it to you all yeah, right uh but yeah he's just Whoa. leaning over the edge and he man it was it was a real show it was crazy that's fucking wait nuts. and these are just fans under it yeah so people you could be directly under the stage at points so it was a trip, man. I was up top, so I was watching the whole thing kind of from the top. Yeah, but it's probably I can, better that way. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there were points Those where Those seats you ain't were, that good. <laughs> nah, I know. You, you're, I who guess do, if you're who all, do you have open for him? Man, who was it? Um, man, I'm going to blank out now. Honestly, to be honest, I may have missed the opener. Mm. Oh, I'm not God, even, got it. Yeah, but... Um, or it would have been... I feel like he was having the same couple people open for him for a minute, but I'm going to blank out on who it was. But, um, yeah, that show was a trip, man. He it does was, something. It was, Something. I mean, you know, that was pre, uh, my guy kind of yeah, yeah, going yeah. off the, uh, yeah. the deep end or whatever, but, but man, the anti-Semitism tour, yeah. whatever he's on <laughs> yeah, now, right. you know, yeah. <laughs> Shit. but how, yeah. like his performances. Yeah. He's, I mean, man, you know, it's, it's kind of that whole separate the art from the artist thing yeah. or something, I guess, to an extent, but I, one of my buddies, I'm not going to name any names, but he was like his stage manager and like kind of in a close circle with Kanye yeah. for a while. And he kept trying to tell me I would tattoo this guy as well. And he was like, "Yo, Kanye wants to get tattooed, man. You got to you got to come to L.A. and do it." And I was like, "Man, I don't know. If I, that seems kind of like a lot of pressure, you know." But yeah. I was like, "You know what? Fuck it. Hit me up. I'll come. I'll like come down there just to do it because it's like you know, when are you ever gonna get a chance?" <laughs> yeah. Come to find out, he ended up he didn't want to wait because Kanye is just like, you know, if he likes you, he's gonna keep you around. He's gonna like surround himself with certain people. And this guy was around him a lot at that time. He said, "Yo, I need that guy here, and I need I need him here in an hour." And he's like, well, he's in San Francisco. He can't come down here. You know, so they ended up finding this other guy to do it. Someone here in LA. I don't know who it was. Yeah. Who does he? So Yeezys are through Adidas, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So whoever this tattooer was shows up to this place to tattoo like 
Kanye and Steve Lacey and I don't know. It was a bunch of people. Yeah, there, yeah, you know, yeah. Some party or something. And I guess he showed up wearing Jordans or something. Oh, shit. And Kanye took one look at him and was like, get this dude out of here. <laughs> Threw no. him out. Whoa. And I was like, damn, I wouldn't have been wearing Jordans. But <laughs> yeah. I don't wow. Know. Yeah. He's just one of those dudes, man. But the you know, guy, for, for me, complicated like, dude, man. Yeah, for sure. You know, for me, I, I you know, I, like I don't, I, I take his music serious. I don't really care like what he has to necessarily like say. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and I, I guess I'm pretty good at like separating like, you know, I don't know. Cause I'm like, I like you for this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if I want to hear something of this nature, I'll go to some, I'll go to someone who, who is that. Sure. You know, but I like you for this. Like I, I, I mean, a lot of his records like still inspire me to be, you know, the best that I can be. Yeah. You know, cause there, there's, there's, you know, some of those, especially those earlier albums of what he was writing was just like, almost like this like blueprint of how to believe in yourself is what it like felt like for me. It is really crazy to come from, you know, you look at those first records to now. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really, I guess that's probably always been in him or maybe that was yeah. like the goal at some point was yeah. to push it in that direction. But I think that life of Pablo record was the last one before maybe he did that next one was like the weird, like, I'm bipolar. I'm sorry, or something, oh, or whatever. The, yeah, that was the um, like a shorter record. Yeah, uh, I think that was just called Yay. Okay, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was just called Yay. And then it was like the maybe Donda or something. I think mm -hmm. Donda was yeah. After and then that. it was you know then things started yeah. getting yeah, yeah, yeah. Started yeah. getting weird maybe, but I know. Yeah, man, but uh, but yeah, man, I don't know. That was a really incredible show. So. Yeah. And what was the second one? So the second one, man, I got I gotta say, Turnstile. Okay. Hey, Yo, listen. Yeah. I've never seen them live. I've seen but. I've seen them probably, I don't know, four or five times now. Yep. And every time I see these guys, yeah, we'll go to Outbreak Fest. This, this is a this is a great. And they opened yeah. for Blink on this last like arena. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I've seen them. You know, just, just watching so kids be so hyped yes, on music yes, yeah. is so sick, man. Yeah. Like even if like, it's like say what you want, man. It's not Mad Ball. It's not this. It's not yeah. that. Whatever. Yo, look at this it, shit, dude. Yeah. I've you, you know, there are only so many bands in the history of hardcore music that have been able to do this. Yeah. You oh. Know? And I mean, come on. They brought it back. I feel like. Yeah. They it's brought like, yeah. it's back heavy. Yeah. It's back the heavy. Sing alongs, the head walking, everything. Yeah. It's just. It, it Watch when this fucking kicks in. It checks ah, every box. Oh, man, again. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah. Remember, if I was like yeah. twelve, this shit would be. It so, made my nipples hard right so now. So here's dude. the thing: <laughs> I, I saw them at the Novo. Look at that. The first time I saw them Ooh. was uh, like right after like like when bands started coming back to like be able to play venues again. Yeah, yeah. It was like yeah, shortly after the pandemic, where there, where bands got cleared to play, and I saw them at the Novo. Uh, I can't remember. Was it 2021 or 2022? Yeah, yeah. Like, it was some, whatever it was. But I literally, it was my first time seeing them. And I'm sitting there watching them. They do the first song. And I took off my hat. I gave it to Toby. I said, hold my hat. Yep. I, I'm, I said, I'm going in the pit. It's I was contagious. In the, pit the fucking whole time. Yeah. I was like, I got to go in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, as a fucking dude in his mid 30s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, let me let me get in there. Let me get in there. So yeah, I, these kids are having a blast. Dude. Oh, man. I mean, so I got to tell this story just because it's like. Where'd you see him at? I've seen him a bunch, but. Okay. Um, my brother plays in a band and kind of knows them through he's he's on he's in that band dare that orange county yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so yeah. like i guess they they probably played together at some point or he's open for them or whatever yeah. but anyway i've seen him a bunch but this one show i saw them at this is probably like i'm gonna say 2022 whatever it was definitely like one of those kind of shows you were saying early on in santa cruz and yo this show there's they're playing i'm kind of standing in the back and i'm watching and all of a sudden they're probably a couple songs in everyone's going nuts I start seeing all these cell phone flashlights turn on and they're like on the floor and I'm like, ah, oh, somebody like dropped a, you know, whatever their glasses or something. And then I'm like, no, oh, something's on the floor. It's like a beanie or a hat or something. And I start looking and I'm like, damn, that's funny. Somebody put like a fake pile of poop, like on the floor, okay. like some fake poop. That's funny. Yo, next somebody steps in it and slides across the floor and you realize it's, it's not fake oh no but it looked like a soft serve like emoji yeah, you know? yeah like yeah. it was like a perfect poop someone's shit in the pit you can google this the next morning there were these like turnstiles new music is so good people are literally shitting themselves or something you can if you just google turnstile poop you'll find it dude <laughs> look at this so someone i've heard pit. mixed reviews about what happened but i heard 
that somebody just was fucking around and some chick got like, again, this is just what I heard. She got like knocked out or hit so hard that she just shit. And Dang. she was in a skirt that does, or something. That does happen if someone can like, maybe you lose I mean, your, I guess, like, you know, <laughs> never happened to me. I've seen but... MMA dudes like shit their, their shorts while fighting and stuff. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if I ever got to the bottom of what happened. That could have totally been a rumor. But what's not a rumor is that everyone was stepping in this shit and then jumping on stage and oh. running across stage and fucking stage diving with shit all over their shoes. So there was shit everywhere. And this was like, they probably had 20, 30 more minutes of songs to play. <laughs> so there was just shit all over this venue. This is this is the thing. I was there. Chappelle, it was you crazy. Would hate that, dude. Yo, it was disgusting, bro. But I don't think anybody really knew. Like maybe a couple people knew. I would have maybe the, the girl knew and she didn't yeah. want to say anything. She was embarrassed. But I would have grabbed the microphone. And I'm like, I'm killing everybody in this bitch. Yeah. yeah. Does I'm it shoot say, all y'all. Does it say what happened? You see it, Mike? <laughs> oh, it just says someone pooped on the stage or <laughs> pooped on the floor and it got all over the stage. This was in Santa Cruz. <laughs> it said yeah. someone threw it on stage. Oh, dude, crazy. I don't know, man. I uh, bet there are all sorts of stories about it, but I did see it. That's that GG Allen shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, oh God, was, I hate. Don't even. It was crazy, man. But to circle back, kids love the turnstile. Yeah, yeah. they're great, and it's cool, man. It's cool that like they were like, you know, how many bands that came from hardcore. You know that step to rhythm album or whatever the first yeah. one they did from that to what they're doing now and they're fuck they're playing on like Jimmy Fallon or whatever yeah. you Crazy know one dude. of those like yeah. that's yeah. you know that's pretty cool man they're making a living I think that's rad yeah, I'm not I'm not nerve. too cool to say what they're doing is is cool yeah you know I'm sure yeah that's like being an adult are, man it's like yeah it's just being an adult I don't like, want to be that old guy that's like oh, I don't know that shit I want to like you know yeah. I hate yeah I hate I hate being the person that's like no nah, it's not this then it's not that yeah. yeah. And I, it, it's just boring. It's just kind of one note. It's really important it, to you, but it's not important to anybody else to feel that way. Yeah. You know? just, yeah. And you see, you hear people talk like that, and you're like, man, do I sound like that? You know? Yeah. yeah I, don't, I hope I, I, don't I, hope I never. Sound like that, you know? I hope yeah. I never sound like that. Even yeah. with like, with comedy, like a lot of people are doing like a lot, a lot of crowd work and a lot yeah. of crowd work clips, and I like, and I'm just like, you know what? Who cares? Yeah. Fuck it. Who cares? You know, True. like, like, like. Yeah, yeah, people are like, you know, yeah, people are doing the crowd work, they're doing the damn thing. It's getting people traction, you know, they're 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 able to they're able to uh sell tickets off of it, you know. But like I don't want to be the fucking guy that's like, nah, that's fucking whack. That's not this is how it should be. Is the crowd work thing to get clips that you can put on the internet without giving away your set or yeah. something? Is that Basically, the gist I think, of it? I think, that's where it, yeah, I think that's where yeah. it started. Yeah. Because yeah. it's gonna be different every time, right? Yeah. So you're not yeah. worried about giving up material. I think, that, I think, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. that's I think that's where it started. Also like you know, some people, you know, like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. I, I mean, as best as I can without, like, trying to, like, disrespect, you know. But, like, there, there's times where people, like, you know, they have that, you know, and they do that, but they don't necessarily have, like, an act. But, an act sure. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So it's like you got to have, you know, yeah. on top of that. It's you like have anything it. else. You got lazy versions. You yeah. got people that do it really and great. I, yeah, yeah, I think uh, Andrew Schultz was, like, the first to, like, really uh, be on the forefront of that, of, like, hitting the crowd work and like, you know, he would just throw it out there, but also Andrew Schultz, you know, has great material. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I would think, I, you know, I watch a lot of comedy and I love comedy and everything. I would think that in just my opinion, if you start with that crowd work stuff or you open with that or you're doing it, that's sort of just maybe encouraging people to like heckle or something. Oh or yeah. Get more involved. Yeah. Right. We've noticed that they think they're helping. Yeah. yeah, they think, yeah. They're like, Oh, you think I'm funny here? I'm going to, you know, jump in or yeah. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. whatever. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it it does happen like that. But I mean, at least for the most part, like I feel like because I do a lot of sets around town, I feel like for the most part, I'm not, I'm not on a lot of lineups where people are just doing straight up. I feel like most yeah. people when I'm on shows are doing doing their material. Yeah, yeah. you know, they they might do some crowd work that kind of like leads yeah. to a joke or whatever. But I feel like for the most part, though, I feel like. A lot of people are doing. I think if you hit at a the store, yeah, and if you hit a good one though, it is magic. It's like yeah, there's some yeah, there is something about it where people are like, oh fuck, like you, you're almost rewarded more for how quickly you thought of it than how good the joke is. Like yeah, yeah. you could do like a half-ass joke, but it'll pop. Cause, but yeah, because how fast you like reacted to it. But um, yeah, I don't know. Is it true that the comics get like a? almost like a safe word for security or something where it's like this guy looked like he needs some water or something you know yeah, and then no, that's when the that know. they go yeah, and yeah, bounce like them, on the right? road like yeah, yeah if, if someone's like too drunk and it, like because the last thing you want to deal with as a as like a comic you know on stage you don't want to deal with like kicking someone out sure you know what i mean because you kind of like lose this flow then it's like you're 
not that you're the bad guy, but like you just don't want to be the. Well, it's security also not guy. your job. You know? Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not yeah, your yeah. job. So it's like, yeah, get this get this guy a coffee. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? get this guy and some water. Like, okay, I'm coming. I'll just yeah, say yeah. you gotta go, man. <laughs> security, oh, this guy's yeah. gotta go. I, yeah, I, one I, time I, Chappelle said that a guy called him the N word, so they would throw him out. And damn, they threw him out. Um, he never called me. Yeah, <laughs> hey, but you know. I tell you what, he got kicked out. Yeah, <laughs> that'll do it. That friend, always works. His friends were pissed at him outside. Like, why'd you call him that? Yeah, he's like, yo, man, I did. He goes, I did it. Uh, okay. Oh, oh we're, here we we're, go. Oh, we're at it. We're at the karaoke song. Your go-to karaoke song. Yo, so I gotta say, I'm not a huge karaoke guy. Me either. But when I am, I go singing Robin, dancing on my own. Wow. Okay. <laughs> He's a Robin fan. My ghost. It's been known to play in the office once or twice. Hey, yeah. it's a real. It's an anthem, man. I gotta this say, this is a good song. Robin's dope. Yeah. Yeah. What was that big hit she, she had? That was you like can't handle me. You can't, maybe. you can't handle me or something like that. I she think th this was pretty big. Oh, she yeah. Australian? Yeah. Wait, what? Is she Australian? Where's she from? Uh, I think Good Robin's question. here in the States. She sounds kind of like she's from the States, right? Yeah. I'm not picking up a lot of I New think she's LA-based. Okay, uh, that would make sense. Are you looking at it? No. Oh. Hold on. Damn. Swedish. Oh, okay, she's Swedish? Okay, cool. I'm sorry. I feel bad now. I'm in the corner. Yeah. Her. Whoa. Okay, so where does this come in for you? Man, I don't you know, I don't know where I picked this song up at or whatever, but Bryce, friend, yeah, friend I was of the show, just Bryce. And I was I, like for sure that Bryce O'Prandy and I have been known to do a little duet okay, karaoke. Cool. If I'm gonna do karaoke, it doesn't happen often. I could probably count on one hand, honestly, or two hands maybe the number of times I've done it, but I've never done anything other than that song. Okay. Have you seen and, the Kings uh, of Leon one? No. Of Leon they covers? cover it? Oh, yeah. Oh, Was this one uh, on the live lounge? Yeah. Damn, I forgot about Kings of Leon. Yeah, I would always laugh at like what people think we're playing in the tattoo shop and what we are. Because <laughs> yeah. like, Bryce is rocking like Spice Girls 100%, and like, yep. shit like that. Yeah. I love when shit's different. Yeah, yeah, me too. I was always like, Love this is it. great. Yeah. People think we're listening to death People metal. expect you to be listening to Baroness also, or Red Fang. Or when you're in like, pain, you don't yeah. want to hear death I don't want to hear fucking... No. Da, 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 yeah, da, 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 da. man. Yeah, yeah. I need like calm, fun music. Yep. That's how I feel whenever we do shows for Mad Peaceful. I don't want to listen to hardcore. Yeah, me either. On the way home, yeah. I want yeah. like, jazz or something yeah. soft. This is a cover of Dancing on My Own, huh? Yeah. It's not hitting for me yet. Yeah. <laughs> Me either. I'm waiting to know. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'm not covering this version. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like this. Everyone's going to be going to the bathroom and getting another drink. Uh, you know what, though? I used to skate to Sex on Fire a lot. That's a good no, skate song. Because that, like, like, there's that part where it's okay, like, yeah. dun -dun, dun -dun, and I was like, if I did a video, it'd be like, trick. Dun -dun, yeah. Trick. Dun -dun. Have, some you, made songs a, have just, you made a skate park? Yeah, I've got some. I've got some old clips and parts yeah. and videos. Yeah, yeah, from back in the day. I was, I was like, I was wondering, what song would you skate to? Yo, I skated to uh, "Girls Just Want to Have Fun." Cindy Hell yeah, Lava, that's a good which one. Which was a good one. Again, taking it back to like what you're not expecting to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know? yeah. But, um, but yeah, I, yeah, that's funny. Kings of Leon. I, are they still a band? Is that a I thing? Think, I don't know. I don't Imagine know. Dragons replaced Kings of Leon or something. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, Lion. dude. Now we're yeah. not gonna get Imagine Dragons or Kings yeah. Leon. Yeah, here. come on, man. See what you did. We can ben. edit that out. We can edit but that we out. can get Robin. Yeah, yeah we can cover get, band she's gonna a be cover hyped. band playing a cover band. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Fuck yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a dope ass song. Robin's tight. Yeah, she's. she's I think she's tight. underrated. Yo, absolutely. She's right? got some other bangers. Yeah, for what was sure. that big hit? Like, she's not a one hit wonder. You think maybe she is, but she's got some other stuff. No, because I remember. I don't listen to it that often, but when I do. Call your girlfriend. Yep. That one. Dancing on my own is the. She has top another one. one. That's uh, the number one for sure. Fuck it. I think it's called "You Can't Handle Me," hmm. or "Handle Me," something like that. But I fucking love. Yeah. I think so we confirm dope. that she is from L.A. She's from Sweden. Sweden. Oh, Sweden. Damn. We were way off. That haircut's iconic too, man. I know. Yeah. She's got Swedish yeah. style for yeah, sure. Yeah, because she gives it. me like a modern but like '80s. Yeah, like our, uh, solo artists. Yeah. Well, also, you think ABBA? You know, they're from Sweden. I mean, it's yeah, that, that dance shit, like that yeah, Euro stuff, is heavy. It's a cool yeah. sweater. Yeah, look at that so shit, dude. Dope. Fucking dancing. We can do Man. this for Mad Peaceful. Fuck yeah! Just filming a music video with just you. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. One name, one legit. person. Yeah, one shot. True. 
Saturday Night Live did a parody of this that was golden. Oh, oh really? really? No way. Yeah. Pull it up, man. Don't talk that shit unless you're going to show it, Mike. <laughs> Man. Well, Kings of Leon missed hard, so I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. shaking over here. Yeah, let's, re- let's recover this. I'm just, glad you knew. I'm just glad you knew about it. <laughs> I would, now I know. I got a long drive home. I'm about to put it on. <laughs> Fuck. Were well, you driving back after this? No, nah, I'll be I'll be here for a minute. But oh, got it. When I do. That's so funny. Oh, they did it. Hey, it's Taryn. I'm here with Zach and Sarah Stop. and Bobby and Abby and Vanessa. Taryn, yeah. It's 4.30. <laughs> uh, the same jacket or sweater or yeah, whatever. No. The Chewbacca collection. <laughs> Yo, Wait, do they actually like film it? Oh, that's his practice run? Oh, no, this is it. Oh. <laughs> it's all one take. All one take? <laughs> they have yeah. flashlights. They just went nuts. <laughs> the flash. This was on SNL or this was like a YouTube They recorded B-side. it as a sketch at four in the morning when they were at the writer's room. Uh, oh, got okay. it. Yeah. yeah. Feels pretty raw for the real yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, see, so, so see, SNL no- notices Robin. Yeah, she's people know. People this know. is making me realize that only Robin can really do it well. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, <laughs> the Robin's great. got it. I just cut the music. Well, that's me cutting the music. <laughs> oh, <it's laughs> I thought that was just everyone was in <laughs> silence in the video. He was dancing. Uh, hell yeah! Hell yeah! That's good. Let's do this next one. Robin, baby. Next question. Woo. Okay. Song. No, it's, uh, uh, yep. Song oh, okay. you play when feeling sad. Oh, God. This is Yo, this was another one that I was like, man, this is like, I, I can cry during songs. Yeah, I me can, too. I can yeah, really like yeah. let it out and I'm not scared, but, uh, Joel might. Yeah, yeah. See, I can't, I can't listen. Well, they, we've talked about this before a million times, but when I'm sad, I can't hear Two sad. Million I'm times. super sensitive yeah. to it and yeah. I'll fucking, I can't pull myself out. It'll again. be the thing that'll push me over the edge for sure. <laughs> but Elliot Smith. Okay. Needle in the hay. This song is, uh, man, this is a sad song. And it's also that Royal Tenenbaum scene. Have okay. you guys seen that Wes Anderson it's movie? It's been years, man, yeah. Luke uh, Luke Wilson is, like, cutting his wrist to this song. and Damn. It's, oh, it's like, shit. really, man, this song's just got that thing about it that's, like. Bro, I can hear it in the chords. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just the choice of fucking. Yeah. Elliot Smith as a whole is just. My guy's pretty sad, you know? Mm, yeah. He's a sad guy. He passed? Yeah, I think he uh, may have... Deleted himself? Yeah, I believe. Damn. Ooh. Yeah, right? It's pretty It's pretty heavy. It's also just been one of those songs that have just been used to, like, you know, put an exclamation point on, you know, scenes that are supposed yeah. to be sad and yeah. shows and in yeah. movies and stuff. But I got it gets like a bit of a Nirvana vibe to it, too. Like, like Elliot a, Smith is like great. Like something in the way. Yeah. Yeah. It's got that, like, dark fucking. Just my man on stage with a guitar. Just yeah. Singing his heart out, you know. Can we see if Elliot. Uh, yeah, let's look it up. I think uh, I. Let's get sadder. Yeah, for real. Well, I need, I've looked well, it because I want the song to make sense. So I need to. Yeah. Yeah, maybe his wiki will have his. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. He but. slipped on poop at a turnstile show. <laughs> <I heard. laughs> let's see. I've looked this up before. I should know this, but. Then a little bit more. Uh, here it goes. Dead. Yeah. All right, let's see it. What's what do we got? Two Smith? stab wounds to the chest. Whoa. October 21st, 2003. Where he lives with his girlfriend. Whoa, Lemoyne Street in Echo Park. I know where that's at. Well, they, they have a they have a mural for him in like Silver Lake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Wait, was this self-inflicted stab wounds? Or the, no. No. Let's see. I, th- I thought that he had. Oh, wait. He was at Lemoyne, blah, 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 where he lived with his girlfriend, Jennifer Chiba. According to Chiba, the Talking to Mike. Are- yeah. According to Chiba, the two were arguing and she locked herself oh. in the bathroom to take a shower. Chiba had it, heard him scream and upon opening the door saw Smith standing with a knife in his chest. She pulled the knife out after which he collapsed and she called 911 at 12:18 p.m. So she that was a self-inflicted Died in the hospital at the time of her death listed oh, a possible suicide note written on a sticky note read, "I'm so sorry, love Elia, God forgive me." Yo, the that's insane. Misspelled his first name in the autopsy report, omitting the second. While Smith's death was reported as a suicide, the official autopsy report released in December left open the question of homicide. Huh. 
I think it's maybe been yeah said that it was a self yeah. deal. Yeah, it's but yo to crazy. stab yourself in the chest that's yeah. really something. I mean, I don't think that's easy to do. No Twice. way. You know who else Twice. tried that was uh, Artie Lang. He he stabbed himself with. Can a, we play this song as we're heart, talking about this? <laughs> Fuck that. <Dude. laughs> this can podcast we call your is about girlfriend? to take a turn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can we? Can we? Yeah. Can we play this? Let's, let's continue on with the. <laughs> Damn, that's Damn. wild. Yeah. Man, that's uh, pretty crazy. Lemoyne Street. I spent a lot of time on that fucking street as a kid. Yeah. Yeah, in Echo Park. Did yeah. it feel a little grim? That's kind of quick. No, I just now, I, now it does. I didn't yeah. know that fool had a yeah. house there. But yo, I will say that's like on brand. If you're gonna write music like this, you yeah. Know, so he wrote like, a lot of. Sad it was. Songs. He's notorious for being like one of those musicians. It's wow. just like he hard, was about like, that life. You know, every now, I mean, there's some songs that are a little more. You know, this is definitely on the sadder, slower side Damn. of his music for yeah, sure. Yeah, those but, chords are haunting. Bro, those yeah, those chords are super Yeah. He's I don't uh, know what that tuning is either, but when like, did it, it just, say he died? It was like two thousand or something? I think oh three. Oh three. Yeah. 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 So it's been a minute. Ugh. Damn. Let's move on. Yeah. Uh <laughs> well song that reminds yeah. you of love. This is gonna be sad too. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. <laughs> hey man, yo, I this was one uh, that was I this uh, this honestly may have been the one that took me the longest, but Bright Eyes has this Which song. Which is another. Dude, Yo, I, I, I was just going to say we're going from Elliot Smith to Connor Obers. I will say a minor chord will fuck me up. I've said it before. So this shit's A minor yeah. or something. It's like... Yo, the lyrics to this song are sort of... It's like this Connor Obers version of like huh? a love song, but it's really yeah. fucked up and sad about oh. people just being fucked up and in love or on a kind of a one night stand deal. Oh. When you get to the chorus, though, it's sad. I was like, I was learning about this band at a pretty like, you know, I was in like my first serious relationship and me and my girlfriend were like going to Bright Eyes shows and it was like, you know, it was just kind of a thing that we shared together. So I think for that reason too, it just makes you think of that time in your life when you're like, I don't know, yeah, becoming. Be a great rap beat, dude. True. I can see like atmosphere of going off yeah, on that. Yeah, for sure. I was trying to think who I would or say what's Francis. Or Slug? Yeah, Slug, Slug. yeah. Another guy that is notoriously like, I think has had some suicide attempts maybe or something, right, but right. he's- Connor? Yeah, I, or maybe not attempts, but like he's talked about, he's been, he's been dark for yeah. a long time, you know, but listen to this. Oh. I want another right there. Oh yeah, I know this song. I want a girl who's too sad to give a fuck. It's just about them meeting at a show, getting drugs, and then like going home together. Uh. But I think from a musical standpoint, I think Connor Oberst and like the whole Bright Eyes deal yeah. was like pretty impressive. Like, yeah, I think it they was really. Tour, don't they? I think so. Yeah, I know that like Phoebe Bridgers and like yeah. all then then that Boy Genius stuff and all yeah, that yeah. stuff kind of stemmed from. I think she was kind of a product of like Connor Oberst's really? music. Like, just was a big yeah, Bright yeah. Eyes fan, yeah, and then yeah, Connor like, like was like, influence. "Oh, she's great. We should like you know, not that she's not talented and couldn't have done it on her own, but I think there was a connection there. They've done. Oh, they, they have a together. band together. Um, it's like a weird name. It's like something, mm. something, something club or whatever. Still. But anyway. Ooh. Um, but yeah, man, he's he's a trip. I remember when I went and saw him with my girlfriend in high school. What are those concerts like? Yo, let me let me tell you. <laughs> my man was just like sitting on stage and he just walks out with like a bottle of whiskey or something, you know, some like brown liquor and just yeah. sits it next to the stool and he's just playing and he's like, we're bright eyes, you know, and like drinking <laughs> from this bottle the whole time and just is getting like visually and just fucked up. Like, yeah. he's just like, all right, this is the next song, you know, like he's like Oof. just and that was just it was almost like this weird, like performative art music thing, you know, where it Cry was like for help. Yeah, yeah. totally. You but it was also spiral like spiral on stage. Yep. Much like stabbing yourself in the chest or whatever. It was like, yeah. I was like, well. Not for nothing, this dude is like doing the thing that he's yeah. writing music about. I guess he's just like. I saw this. Um, this this he's a character actor <sighs> named Jeffrey Combs, and I saw him do this Edgar Allan Poe like stage show. I guess back Edgar Allan Poe used to tour and do readings of his poetry, yeah, and shit like that. But um, he starts out the show sober, and then he's got a bottle. He gets fucked up as the show goes on, and it just starts becoming this train wreck. And uh, that's what I was reminded of, like you know, just watching people, that, yeah, just watching people kind of go through it, and like you know where that art comes from or whatever it's like that's it that's intense man because i've i've been like sad obviously but i don't think there's a an ounce of my body that wants to like 
Like I'm rather like try to like triumph over it. Sure. Than necessarily like here I'm gonna write I'm gonna write this song, you know, or like to uh, fall uh, in to fall in and like yeah. I'm gonna write a ton of songs. Yeah. That continue to let it fall in. It's a tough because I'm like man what like me when I when I, and I guess this is why I probably I, I don't connect with Bright Eyes even though you know I have so many friends that listen to Bright Eyes but I'm like to me I'm like okay. Now what? Yeah, yeah. You know, like, what's yeah. the... what's Solution. Okay, so what's the solution? Yeah, true. That's how I feel, like, with some of those bands, you know, like... Yeah, I wonder if they're really- making it worse by, like, living in that fucking headspace or... Because I know when I, like, will write jokes about tra- traumatic shit, I'm almost, like, in that headspace, so there, I got to be careful about what I'm analyzing about sadness. You totally. Know? Yeah. Like, I'll go there. I think there was something to, like, when I discovered that band, and like I said, I was, like, trying to figure out, like, I don't know serious adult shit you know what i mean and i think for whatever reason i don't know if you when you're young and you're in that first serious relationship you're always like gravitating toward like sad music or Mm. something because you're just trying you can't say how you feel enough or so i don't know it was like weird it was like a weird time overwhelming emotions everything was like the most important shit ever at that time you know whether it was skating or music or whatever you know so yeah i I don't know man it's a it was i again it was like i could pick like the obvious stuff you know, but there are shit that's shit that just makes me cry. That's like not necessarily a sad song, yeah. you know, but like, um, but yeah, or like love songs or whatever. I don't know. It's weird. Oof. Well, let's, let's, let's move on. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I might cry. <laughs> yeah, this next one will pull us right Rick, out Rick of Look at Rick sad already. Yeah. Know, sorry, uh, let's do, f- okay. Right. Yeah. So your favorite workout slash hype song. Yo. All right. Whenever I'd roll up to the skate park or I would be ready to go skating at the spot. This would be the song that I would put on. Dead oh, Perez, fuck hip-hop. yeah, dude, yeah. Uh, well, this was in the fucking... Uh, also in Bag of Suck. This is Caswell Berry's song. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Caswell Caswell Berry, weirdly yeah. enough, I don't know. that There was no connection to that. But. Hip, hop, hip, hip. Yo, this whole record is fucking this was, great. Yeah. When this came out... Everything just felt so cool. Yeah. They got right? a great live version at that Dave Chappelle's block party. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Also, Static X covered this on the L- Loud Records, Loud Rocks album. Yeah. They did? Yeah, we'll play it after. Yeah, this whole Let's Get Free album is really yeah, something. Not react. That was like the big one for them, right? Yeah. Where people yeah, like, the, where they started to get like, yep. really noticed. Kind of in the real world. Right? Yeah. Yeah, this beat and everything, and just like when it comes in, and you're like turning the music up in the car with the windows down, yeah. and your friends are already out there yeah. and they hear it, you know? It was so fun, man. Yeah, I think it's the first time Dead Press has been brought up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I know that song because your dad put it in a video. The, they have a song about like eating healthy. Is that Dead Press? Oh, they do, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. They have, yo, know, the lyrics in on that record are crazy yeah like if you just go through and read them you're like yeah wow, yeah they were on that like, revolution sometimes the, the music not matching the lyrics and it was it was just weird it was like yeah. i think it was pretty ahead of its time for that yeah for all no they, yeah they do have a lot of like revolution uh revolutionary yeah yeah, yeah this so loud records did i guess was dead Pre- they did a collab with a bunch of metal bands and they did uh static x did uh hip-hop on that oh album. yeah how you know that because you're plugged in. Yeah, I'm plugged in. Finger dude. on the exactly, pulse. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh shit, they're on it with them. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know they were on it yeah. with them. Yeah. That's you right there, dude. That is. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, dude. This is wild. <laughs> wow. Gives you that. Yeah, no push it. Oh, that sounds really cool. Ooh. Yeah. It almost gives that like uh what's that faint it's like a famous like almost like house not house beat. Yeah, it's like a jungle beat like yeah. kind of yeah. So this is one this is a whole album of different yeah, like collabs. Yeah, some of a down did a Wu-Tang song uh there's a, there's a, just a bunch of shit on there. Um Incubus does uh still not a player. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Has anybody brought up System of a Down on the show? Yeah, we yes. sang some sisters. Yeah. Yes, uh, yeah. yeah, we did. Kim Congdon. Uh, Kim Congdon <laughs> okay. brought up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was almost on a list, and I didn't, you know. I mean, I've been, another, re- I've been another, revisiting it Yeah, they're great lately, man. and they're touring right. again, so. Yeah, I saw them show. with Korn, and, like, it was, Korn was great, but System hit the stage. It was just, like, a different thing, man. And I watched this video, or something popped up for me, and it was, like, some really well-known, like, vocal coach or something mm-hmm. that works with, like, I don't know, you know, 
yeah really big acts or whatever and they were yeah. listening to that guy it's surge right the yeah, singer surge, yeah. yeah and they they'd never heard it and they were listening to that song i forget which one one of the one of the ones but and she was like blown away she was yeah. like yo oh, this his dude range, is like his range is insane yeah she's screaming like, to singing one to... of those like you see the album art and you see hear the name of the band or whatever and then she was watching it and she was just like this is so good yeah, yeah. and it's like acro- acrobatics like banana yeah. banana banana uh-huh. banana, yeah. banana, banana yo banana, dude, dude the, like yeah his range is insane also i love watching those uh people uh those like vocal coaches vocal coaches yeah, yeah, yeah. uh whenever they talk about chester from lincoln park yeah yeah you know yeah. when they when they talk about him like because there's that one song where he does that long scream yeah 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 oh, fuck i always forget it's like a, it's fucking long yeah it's long, but I forget what song it I is. I also but. can't find. There's a video clip of them. They're looking at the vocal, the the waves on the screen after you recorded, and they were showing that he has like three voices in one. Like Crazy. he's got like this. Th- he can like hit those three things at one time. You know. Mm. I wish I could find it. I'll find it somewhere. I want to see Surge on American Idol, whatever season they're. Oh on, yeah, you know? dude. Just go there, there's there. a great. He's, he's, never seen he's, it. Gonna, he's doing American. Oh, Idol. I just want to see him on there. Oh, got I want to see those people on American Idol. They'll fucking hate on him. And he's <laughs> yeah. like, bitch. Yeah. There's yeah. them live in Armenia is like a great deal. Oh, that, that yeah. too. Because they're like in the state capital, or something, and it's just packed. It's the fuck, it's packed. raining. It's packed. Yeah, it's that's awesome. a beautiful concert. Yeah. Uh, okay, your Desert Island album. I will say this was the easiest one. For oh me. wow. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I've been listening to this record over and over and over since it came out interpol interval yo wow. this album to me is like flawless i saw them live uh they opened for morrissey oh yeah that makes sense Damn. Yeah. yeah they're from manhattan they're like they've been around for a long time i think they're like some of the members have bounced and you know for the longest time i thought they were british man oh yeah, yeah i could see it i mean they've got like a kind of that weird like they kind of play in like suits and yeah. you know they're like kind of that almost like the national before the national yeah, or yeah. something you know yeah. where you're like what's up with these guys you know but yeah, yeah this record of last week yeah the national yeah. again a skate video brian anderson skated and yeah right to an interpol oh. song oh yeah and i think that I was just here for the 20 year, and that, so that was last year. So that video came out in 2003. So I think that's when I found this band was through that Yeah Right girl video. Uh-huh. Um, and I just couldn't stop listening to it. And it's this, a weird record because it's like pretty, again, this is pretty like, you know, yeah. it can be sad. But on a desert island? Yo, I can I can put this on though, and I just like I feel like I know it so well so, yeah. that it's like it's like I don't know, watching the same movie you've seen a million yeah, times. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Just comforting. Like, it's comforting for sure. Yeah, but. I think the last step we traced this shit like back all the way to like Depeche Mode and like that that style that kind of you know the the way he sings. And yeah, stuff. I I, 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 lo- I just realized I love that about like a, a genre or like a style of music where you see it like evolve and like still exist and you still see a lot of the elements from when it first started. And I think a lot of like that Depeche Mode, Joy mm-hmm. Division, all that stuff, and what that's like done for, you know, uh, artists of the future. Yeah. You know what I mean? And just how they're able to like utilize those ed- elements still. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, like that uh, Modest Mouse record, I felt like this was one of those first bands where I was like, I don't really know. It's, it's not like punk rock and it's not, you know, it's not metal. It's just like some weird thing that I didn't know. I couldn't place it. But uh, it was good, man. And then I saw, you know, I knew like people that were like older than me or cooler than me that yeah, were like, yeah. yo, that, that's a really good band. You yeah. Know? yeah. But yeah. again, if it wasn't for skateboarding, I would not have found so much music. And I mean, I mean, shit, David Bowie, stuff like that. But I, from when I, you know, from when we were all kids, I don't know. I think there's a lot of music that like a lot of people find like through their dad or something yeah. like their dad listened yeah. to this band. So they're like, Oh, David Bowie. My dad loved David Bowie. I didn't really have that. You know, like my dad wasn't really introducing me to like specific stuff. So I was finding things through, through skating. But that's the cool always, part you know? Yeah. So. Cause when you discover it on your own, it's like, yeah. yeah, that's that's mine. But that was when you'd like this thing with skate videos, and like if there was a song, like if your favorite skater skated to a song that you really liked and you wanted to hear it, you'd buy that whole CD just for the one song. Yeah, you know, which I guess isn't unlike other stuff people would do. There was yeah. like a single they liked, but again, you'd end up like listening to that record like over and over uh-huh. and over, and being like, I gotta love this thing because mm-hmm. yeah, know, it's the CD I have now or whatever. But for sure, yeah, man, that that album is great. Yeah, Interpol, that's a that's a good one, man. Yeah, they're mm. good. All right, uh, last question. Ooh, we're already here. Gu- guilty pleasure <laughs> song. <laughs> All right, yo. Andrew WK. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Party Hard. Yeah, it's great. I don't wow. know. Wow. Man, this song <laughs> is a 
Wow. Absolute banger. But it, didn't he have like the drummer for like Obituary or some crazy shit on this record? I don't I think. know. Yeah, this is like Ramones I mean, come on. of the future, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This was the sickest. It is still the sickest. It his, is sick. His whole thing is insane. It's insane, yeah. yeah. Just fun energy, dude. Yeah, dude. I remember it from Jackass. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Honestly, that may have been. Wait, it was in Jackass? Yep, the original. Yep. I don't, I, don't know know if he, I don't know if he was like a one-hit wonder. I think he definitely did other stuff. But yeah. yeah. I tried to look him up on the way here, and all I could find was that he recently got married or something. Huh. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing Yeah, he's now, had a but. bunch of shit, I, I feel like, that's come out. He has that cool pizza guitar now. Yeah. I feel like this was like the era of like certain bands or people that were really talented musicians coming together just to do a thing that was going to like get yeah. a response, yeah. right? Or like yeah. a reaction. And that, uh, man, this song is yeah, so sick, we, dude. Damn, I remember when this shit hit. Yo. Do what we want and we like what we do. do. Let's get a funny <laughs> I remember hearing that he, like, this punched first... himself in the face to, yeah. for the album cover to, like, give himself a bloody nose. I don't oh, know if wow. that's true. It was like the Marilyn Manson removing his rib thing. Yeah, I don't yeah, know if yeah. it was true or whatever, but, you know, it's cool to think it is. Yeah, this shit rips, So dude. fucking cool. Yeah, man. This just brought back so many, yeah. like, memories and, like, yeah. knowing exactly where I was, you know. Also, I've life. only seen two people wear all white like that, like the white Levi's and the white tee. Yeah. And Heath pull Kirchart. it off is Heath Kirchhart yeah. and Andrew WK, man. <laughs> if I try to put that shit on, yeah. I'll look like a dork. Wait, I what, did he, what did he... Kirchhart wear it in. He used He's, to wear all white. He used to skate and film clips in all white. Oh, got it. Like, there's, like, some stuff in Minefield, and I don't remember, maybe, like, Sight Unseen or some other famous Heath parts where he's, oh, like, got in it, all got white. It. And it just looks so cool when so you've I was got like, some... I didn't see that in Baker, because he did Baker, he was in Baker 2G, I think. He, you never, I mean, yeah, he was just, like, getting a little asphalt on there, and he looked yeah. so cool, and he was all beat in. Yeah, here you go. What was this? Was this the intro, or was this, like, a, oh, it was a an music official video. Jackass the movie. Yeah, dude. Damn, what a time, man. Yeah, dude. What Gosh. a time. I see I see Loomis all the time. He lives near dude, me. Dude, I see him all the time. Yeah, he's around that area. He, he, right? Classic, dude. Rick. That's, yeah. Knox, but God, this was the peak of what my an era. shit, dude. So inspiring. I was definitely going to go jump into a bush or whatever after yeah, I watched this. Yeah, of course. We were all so pushing hyped. shopping carts. Oh, like, dude. It was just such a special time man wasn't Damn. it hell yeah that dude. was a special time dude, oh, i'd be right. rocking that american flag thong dude i wear yeah. that at the kia forum oh. dude what a brand they've just been they've managed to build you know like through Crazy. the cky jackass you know big brother all that stuff oh, dude cky 2k yeah dude when mike Vallely beats up four dudes oh yeah, yeah. takes his shirt off and all that that was like the coolest fucking thing ever yeah yeah i, I mean, mean this was the perfect fit for this for Andrew WK in this song. Yeah, yeah and I will Jack say, like, th he's giving it 110%, dude. Oh, they, yes. they are not half-assing anything. There's no phoning that in. Dude. No, you, no way, not, man. Like, yeah. Yeah, that is... <laughs> you, that talk about half, you talk about half-assing, I'm like, yeah, you couldn't be in jackass and half-ass. No. Uh, <laughs> they would have called it half-ass. Yeah. See, jackass. when I was growing up in Indiana, this music video is what I thought every night in California was. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I was great. like, oh, these guys are just... Lighting off fireworks out of each other's asses and jumping Dude, off Pontius ramps. Dude, Pontius is good at yeah. skateboarding too. I've yeah. seen like some clips. I shot I shot skyrockets out of my ass. Yeah, that is an interesting thing with growing up in places that don't have a lot going on. Yep. You know, like I, I feel like growing up in Arizona, like you had to create your own fucking fun because sure. there is nothing in Arizona besides the fucking desert. Yeah. So yeah. it's like you know when you see these things, yeah, you think, oh, that's what the fuck is. Yeah, you know, like you just saying, like how, like, oh, this is what California's like. Absolutely, that's what I thought. Also, shout out Bam, man. I hope that dude. Gets yeah, his out. yeah, that's yeah. I root for him. Yeah, it's a bummer. Well, I want people to be better. Yep. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Yeah, dude. Man, this makes me want to go back and rewatch all this stuff. I haven't watched it. Yeah, I wish I could erase my mind and watch them for the first Have time. Have it be again. the first yeah. time you saw it. So yeah, fun. Man, Listen, we're not talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, well, party babe. hard. Hell yeah! Let's party! Fuck, we Let's, partied hard. Today. Yeah, we did. Yeah, fuck you yeah! Know? Yeah, this was great. We, we turned it. You turned it around. Yo, what's, what's with, up? I had to, from, I had to bring in some songs. To the, <laughs> some, <laughs> yeah. I got to end with Andrew WK. I'm gonna get everybody sad. In yeah, here. I was like, oh gosh. Yeah, dude. we got dark for a minute, but dude, did we? <laughs> we got to do it. You know, you that do was it. fucking. Whew. Yeah, it's it's you know you think when I got when you guys sent me the list and you were like you know this is kind of the formula. 
you think it's going to be easier than it is. I no, don't know. We it's really, it. we did it to ourselves yep. like a few weeks ago and it, we were like, sorry. To yeah. We it's say also, sorry. it's just hard to be like, yo, you know, what's your all time favorite band or yeah. something, you know, that kind of stuff. It's like, man, I don't know. Can you I, I like to it? tell people like it's, it's right now. Like you could change five minutes after the show. You could change after you even write it, not to let it paralyze you, but sure. Yeah. I know I had some stuff on mine that was like more so like current. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's cool. Yeah. It was, it was, it was tough. It's also very vulnerable. I was like showing my chick. I was like, yo, yeah. Does this sound cool? Is this cool? Yeah, would you, yeah, would yeah, you talk, yeah. you know, cause you, you figure you got to talk about it. So nah, you're like, I love, I love people being, vul- I love them. Like, I love yeah. people like unapologetically, like, yo, this is yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. This they, is it. There are no guilty pleasures, yeah. man. Yeah. It's all just good it's shit, all good. man. True. Well, oh, shit. Yeah. Thank well, you. Well, this is great. Oh, Thank you, you guys for having time? me on. Yeah, this was awesome. You guys are killing oh, yeah. it. Yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to promote yeah, everything? Yeah, promote, yeah. Yeah. So uh, you can follow the Vice series through Vice. Obviously, all their social media, but also Let It Kill You series on Instagram is where we'll post when the episodes are coming out. Hell so yeah. follow that. Go buy and, the book. Uh, yeah, you can get the book. You can watch the show. Do the thing. Yeah, yeah. appreciate you guys. You see so Ben much. at uh, uh, Idle Hands in San Francisco. Yeah, come great tattoo shop. Get tattooed. I'm down. There Let's it is. Happen. Thank you yeah. guys so much. Yeah, thank right. you, man. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Of Bye. course. Bye. Lesser known characters. Lesser known characters.